Check out channelfireball.com to step up your game with videos and articles from the best in the world. You can use the code Gabby at checkout to help support this channel. Hello everybody on YouTube and welcome! We're doing another Proliferate Q Phantom Draft League! League number 58484! Bam, baby. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a cube where the joke is that it's all about like putting counters on stuff and proliferating, etc. Um, what are we feeling like? Because I'm kind of feeling this Contagion Engine and GL. Not gonna lie. It also is a colorless card, which lets us go in any direction. I am shocked that there's a Mark of Mutiny here. I guess there is a black red counters deck, and this does put a plus one plus one counter. It's like a black red sack deck or something. Death of the engine. Yeah, I love Breeding Pool is also really good. I have not felt the draw into blue in this cube as I usually do, so I think I'm just gonna take that. The engine. Is Kaoko in this cube? I wouldn't be. I guess it does make a lot of sense for him to be in this cube. Does Contagion Engine help us cast Goblin Bomb? Oh my god, Rage! I'm never drafting Goblin Bomb again. That was a mistake. Goblin Bomb was a mistake. Change my mind. Um, what's our follow up though? That's the question. Oko's not in the cube. Hmm. I see. I see. Overgrown Tomb is just good mana. Uh, Fretwork Colony. I don't want a card that can't block in our deck. Oko's Hospitality. <laughs> lol. Freaking lol. Don't think I want Infiltrator Elcor. I, I honestly think it's just Tomb. Yeah, I think so too, DC. We have nothing that is tearing us in a specific direction. I have liked black and green a lot in this cube. I think green is probably maybe the best color in this cube. Misty is nice. It fetches Overgrown Tomb. Uh, Night of Autumn is not too shabby. I guess depending on which way we go, we could also take Sunken Ruins to be Saltai. I kind of like just Misty. Definitely not picking Tails. That draft where we drafted Goblin Bomb, I spent the entire league just trying to get it to work once and it did not work at all. Not even once. -doo 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 -doo. Chat, where do you see your VIPs? I need to take a look at that. My my VIP situation is loose. I, I need to fix it. That's champion, huh? <laughs> Ten and old. <laughs> is that how you see it, Range? There's gotta be a place under like in my dashboard somewhere. Community content preferences, moderation channel content, clips, video producer, community activity, followers list, channel points, roles manager. That's got to be it. Yeah, I found it, baby. I found it. I found it somewhere in my dashboard, actually, Slu. Thank you, though. What do we want to take here? The Rouge? It doesn't really work with Contagion Engine at all. Could take Den and Old, actually. I think the artifact deck is good, but we aren't really set up for it. Yeah, I think at the moment we're like way more set up to be some sort of green monstrosity, some Sultai monstrosity. Look at this Ink Moth Nexus. This is cool. This is a secret lair, Ink Moth Nexus. So I like Pollen Bride Druid. This is a proliferate thing, and we did just take a Contagion Engine. I think that's got to be better than Watery Grave. Is Ravager Gur in this cube? I'm assuming it's pretty good in its in its cube. You've watched Streamy do some dumb shit with it. Uh, with Ravager. I I imagine that the Artifacts deck is... Oh, there's a Master of Ethereum. We really are not set up to be the Artifacts deck, though. Shoot. Hi, Jamie. Oh, no, you were saying hi to Reej. I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> there's the Goblin Bomb. <laughs> Should we try again? No, no, we're just gonna train like a draft for no reason. Let's t just take the skate. This, when it ETBs, double the number of each kind of counter on any number target permanence. Let's just go full proliferate. No, no, chat, no, no, no. I'm not gonna linger here to let you ruin this draft. We already trashed the draft. It doesn't have to be this way. All right, chat, I fixed my VIP situation. Now I can VIP honk. You love to see it. Bam, baby. You have been knighted, my fair lady. I've changed. I, I already ruined a draft. It doesn't have to be this way. Uh, I don't think I want that. What does this do? No. 
Mm, no, these are all awful. Iron Storm is a good meme. I don't want any of these cards, really. I could see us taking Glintness Crane and maybe drafting enough artifacts for it to be good, but everything else looks terrible. I could see Reaver. Yeah, maybe Reaver was good because it makes a, a creature you can amass and then double the counters on that. So Jinnah Wishes looks kind of interesting. You can wish for more wishes. That's probably cheating, but we could just wish for more wishes. Hallowed Fountain. I don't think we need it. Misty does fetch it. I think the Jin looks pretty good. Looks like the the, the Jin. What does Tessard's touch? Enchanted Artifact is a creature with base power and toughness 5-5 five, five in addition to its other type. When Enchanted Artifact is put into a graveyard, return that card to its owner's hand. Wow, that's like really cool if we were drafting the Artifacts deck. Artifacts does seem like it is still quite open. Bujungo, thank you. Yes, I feel like the ship has sailed on that one, unfortunately. I don't know, man. I'm just going to take that as a very, very speculative pick. I really don't think we can make Tezzard's Touch happen, but nothing else there looked good, so. All right, have I fixed... Have I fixed all my stuffs? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Chat, so should we abandon ship and just, like, start drafting artifacts? Because Mirror Sire is pretty good, but I really feel like we're so far from making this proliferate thing happen. We're just not getting anything for it. Like, we have Glintness, Crane, Mirror Sire, Contagion Engine, and Tezzard's Touch, which all work together. Actually, Contagion Engine doesn't, not really. Flare Husk works with Tezzard's Touch. When it's turn face up, counter all abilities your opponents control. Yeah, I think we just take a Flare Husk and we try to move into Artifacts. We're moving in super late. So first cold of the season, addressing it immediately was hot toddies. Love it, Bujongo. I haven't had a cold yet, luckily. Look! Look, they can't... They, it's all coming back. The Edge Champion is coming back, too. I think Artifacts is just open. We should just move into it. Yeah, look at this. Now we can just take Aether's Spell Bomb and now... Oh, <laughs> no! I'm gonna put it there, but we're never gonna look at it again, okay? Never again. Not even once. I can't believe we wheeled it either. Ravager didn't wheel, but I think Wheeling Edge Champion is still pretty good. Um, Trisk is interesting. Ooh, Hasta la Vista, baby. I like that card a lot. So, Pollen Bride Druid is not looking so good here. I also don't think we're playing green. Let's see. I mean, we might still play Contagion Engine. Trike and Blade are both great. Hmm. I do like Triskelion a lot. Triskelion still works with a Contagion engine, potentially. It is just a good card. Yeah, let's take let's just take the Trike. Okay, let's put Tezzard's Touch in there. Don't think we want an Atrox. Uh, the Deus. Deus! It's like a creature, put a charge counter on it, sacrifice it, draw a card for each charge counter on it. No. Yeah, if Blade Wheels, I think we'd be in for that. If I took the Fountain, we could have had a Traxaman. I don't think I would have wanted to play it, though. And train wreck this wrath. Don't worry, this, don't worry, this, this is already a train wreck. We could take the Spire Golem. I do feel like we're going to have a lot of islands in this deck. Jace does silly things with the proliferate stuff. The problem is we're really not, like, we're moving into artifacts. Yeah, Mr. Horrible, I think that is the play or the plan right now. I'm just going to take this. I'm just going to try to full pivot into black, black, blue artifacts. I think that might be our best chance here. Um, Ginger Brutus. I like treasure map. Treasure map's not bad. This one enters with X charge counters on it. Equipped creature gets plus one plus one for each charge counter on it. Ginger Dad is not bad. It's really good with Tezzeret's touch. Because it basically gives unblockable. You feel so sad about the Master of Ethereum and Arcbound Ravager? Well, the... Oh, did, did we send a Master of Ethereum as well? That's too bad. You like Sigil a lot in these decks too. Let me look at it. 
With the proliferate stuff, it's actually not bad. I could see taking the sigil. Is that better than treasure map, though? I kind of like treasure map a little bit better. Myriad construct doesn't look back. Arrows looks great. Oh, and soul artifact also looks perfect. It's like the... It's kind of like the perfect thing in a deck like this. Because you just have all these crappy ether spell bombs and mere sires and flare husks. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. What if we take the Ensoul Artifact and then we wheel the Ginger Brutus? Do you think map's too slow in the format? I guess we'll find out. I do want to play that card though. Okie dokie. Is this a fast format? It's ish ish i think is the key ah yes animating fairies in this cube i have definitely seen it before as long as you control a blue creature hold soul diviner is cool i don't think it works for us unfortunately this enters with x plus one plus one counters when it dies create a blue squid equal to x the number of counters i had on it none of these cards are great for us i could see spark double being okay maybe um i don't think we want rish card no i'll actually take the skulker it's not amazing in this deck or anything so flooded strand fetches does not fetch overgrown tomb unfortunately Whenever a guild packed informant deals combat damage to player proliferate. Are we even playing tomb? Not at the moment. I also like Edifice of Authority. That card is really good. Do you think the guild pack informant is better than Edifice here? Because I kind of feel like Edifice is a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Hypocrisite seems not bad. What does this one do again? It has lifelink as long as it has five counters on it. We don't have a lot of ways of proliferating. You think Edifice might wheel? That card's really good, though. I don't know. Clearly, it might not, but it is also pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to take Apocrisite. I don't know why Apocrisite always, to me, sounds like a hypocrite. <laughs> sounds like hypocrite. Uh, Chief of the Foundry could be good in this deck. Artifacts, spells you cost, cost one less to cast. Ethereum Sculpture also looks pretty good. Sounds like Epogrisite. The greatest Pug Champ, Mr. Horrible. We, we figured it out. That was the greatest Pug Champ. EE is a good target for animation. Uh, I just feel like Sculpture lets us play some of our stuff like way cheaper. I don't know. Okay, so the Blade of the Blood Chief came back. Yeah, I think Sculpture's really good. I don't know. I could see it going either way. Because Mina's not bad. Hmm. Do we have creatures? Yeah, we have some. Whenever a creature dies, put a pulse. I think because Mina looks better. It almost looks like we are a blue-black artifacts deck, but we are um, like a little bit on the slower side of anything. As an additional cost to cast, it's discard a card. It deals one damage to target creature, and then it persists. This card's not terrible. <laughs> Cube All Star Lava Claw reaches. BK would love to see it. I think. I think we can take a Jace. It's just a Planeswalker. It's not bad. Hey, the sigil came back. The sigil came back. They really had to make a point with a Master Chorus Lesser. Yeah, they really did. It's because of the greater Master Core, you see. Uh, Metallic Rebuke sounds good. The Quill Spike does not, and the Carnes doesn't either. This is going to be on a ton of times for us, I think. Spark Double Victimize and another Scarecrow. We don't really have black creatures for the Scarecrow. I guess spark double, but put it in the sideboard. The bully came back. Bully. Yeah, this deck is looking... It's not amazing. It's just okay. We do have the... Tezzeret's Touch, and then we also have the Insole Artifact. So you can actually cheese some wins with these. 
you probably would play spark oh like spark spark double it's possible i guess it depends on what our creature package ends up looking like so verdant catacomb fetches nothing good oh there's the animating fairy I feel like at this point we should just take it. We are just a deck that's trying to make a 5-5 five five and protect it. Ancient is a bomb in this format, right? Uh, which ancient? Fairy. Take the sword wheel fairy. Oh, Forgotten Ancient. Yes, Forgotten Ancient is good, but I don't think we want it in this deck. Sword of Truth and Justice has been decent. So let's take Sword of Truth and Justice and see if we can wield the Animating Fairy because I think there's a chance nobody else wants the Animating Fairy. We, we might be the only people at the table who want it. What does this do? Any text, please? Psionic Blast deals 4 damage to any target and 2 damage to you. Oh, so it's a blue spell that deals damage. Weird. Uh, Essence Scatter is not bad. Sparring Construct's not bad. Converge enters the battlefield with X plus 1 plus 1 catches for each color mana spent on it. We're never going to have a lot of mana for that. Yeah, it's a blue char. Really weird. Yo, Bim! Welcome, welcome. How goes it, Bim? Do we want Sparring Construct or just Psionic Blast so that we have an actual removal spell? Psionic Blast was an alpha. Is it that old? Dang. Yeah, I think I'm going to take that just because it's, it is interaction, even though it's kind of loose interaction. If I take the Misty the or the Trop... Misty fetches Trop, which... Well, I guess Misty already fetches blue, so that's not even that good. If I take Marsh Flats, Marsh Flats does fetch Overgrown Tomb, but it doesn't super help us, because that already fetched black anyway. Getting back to this whole parenting thing, Baby Bim is finally home. Cute, Bim. Yeah, it's time to, to shake the DOS stuff. Commit is also fine interaction. Yeah, it's not bad. You can just put it back... It's got to be better than Ruinous Path, right? Because we, we are barely playing black. What about Delay? I could see Delay. I think Commit to Memory is a little bit better. Chromatic Star or Chronomaton? Jorah's Toolbox. I've never seen this card. Regenerate Target Artifact. Oh! Oh, this one's really good. Hold on. This is pretty cool with us trying to install artifact stuff i like this one better dc i like the toolbox better than uh scourge because we don't have that many ways of protecting the, the things that we animate and this definitely protects it pretty well it can protect itself too i think the other one's going to come back too which is useful for us well endless one is sweet because this gets counters um, and then when you animate it, it gets to keep the counters. You don't think Scourge of Wheels? Well, I think this is better in our deck, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. Disciple's interesting, but I think Endless One is better. Oh, it's not an artifact! It's an Eldrazi! Holy gudja turkey, you're right. You're right, it juked me. <laughs> you're totally right, oh my god! Wow, it got me good. Uh, whenever you cast an artifact spell, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. That seems pretty decent. Is it better than this? Non-token creature control dice, put a charge counter on it at the beginning of your upkeep. If it has five counter... No, I don't think I'm interested in that. What about an exoskeleton? Nah, I don't think I want that. Just riddles most sounds good. Yeah, that's how they get you. That is how they get you. Oh, Zaid is a good payoff for the stuff that we're doing. It's just a 5-6 flyer that's going to be really cheap if we tap an untapped artifact. Yeah, that's really nice. Endless one, get, get out of here. Get the garbage out of here. Part the Water Veil? Oh, isn't Prophetic Prism really good in this deck? Prism is good because it replaces itself and then you can animate it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly, Gatekeeper. We're on the same wavelength. You love to see it. And the Fairy came back! Wow, so this is just kind of like a joke deck, huh? Are we even going to play Tesserit's Touch now that we have the animating fairy? We're a mono blue deck. Most We're just a mono blue deck. <laughs> hey, Molly. <laughs> Don't you judge me, okay? What if I like the memes? Uh, I don't think we want Sparring Construct or Crawler. I guess that means Essence Scatter is probably okay here. 
cut touch splash goblin bomb horrible <laughs> i do have the prism to splash that's true between prism and maybe adding some i just feel like our mana is going to be so bad if we just add mountains remember we have this stupid card that has affinity for islands too where is it this one affinity for islands look I think I'm just going to ditch this, ditch... Ah, uh, we can actually keep this to thin twin. Touch goes that way. Yeah, Spire Golem, baby. Yeah, till today, I'm, we're, don't worry, we're not playing Goblin Bomb again. So this is 31. Sigil looks good, this looks good. The Contagion Engine actually looks kind of unfortunate. It just doesn't really do a whole lot on this deck, I don't think. Trisk looks good. The Skate looks bad. The Jin looks good. The Kazmia looks okay. Spark Double enters the battlefield as a copy of a creature Planeswalker you control. Mm, I might not play that. I don't think the Jace is looking super good in this deck either. We've got the Fairy, the Sword, the Bully, the Edifice... Psionic Blast. Oh, this Skulker looks abysmal. Oh, there's Delay. Put it in the sideboard. Yeah, totally, Decca. Uh, the problem is, our, I guess I could copy Kazmina too, so maybe that makes Spark Double okay. Ooh. Ooh. Spire of Industry. Interesante. Don't think we want a Fetid Hith. Oh, I thought it Heath. Add one mana of any color, put a brick counter on it. Add three mana of any color, activate this. Blah, 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 blah. I don't think we want that. Don't think we care about that either. Yeah, I remember the card. I remember wanting to make that card do literally anything, and it never did. It never did. Huh? Nah. Vanishing one, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a time counter on it. Nah, I don't think I want that. Hey, Nucleo! No, I do have the stupid Goblin Bomb in my sideboard, but I am we're not playing it. We, we drafted a mono blue, like, animate artifacts deck, kind of. <laughs> exactly, Johnny. All right, let's make some finishing touches on this, yeah? I think that we might end up playing the Spark Double, we'll see. So the in Soul Artifact, the Essence Scatter look okay. The Sculptor is an artifact creature. The Glynnus Crane does look good. The Riddlesmith, Epocrisite, the Toolbox, the Mirror Sire, the Prism, the Treasure Map. There's a chance the Treasure Map is a little too slow. Ether Spellbomb and Flare Husk. So we're at 27. So, Jin to wish for our animation cards if we need to. I think we might not want to play the Jin at all, sadly. Because we already have Zahid, which is better, and this doesn't get any sort of discount. For reals, Dekka. You hate to see it. You really do. Mm. Jin is a decent beater, yeah. I, I just trying to make this deck a little more consistent. How good do we think this Sigil is? Those of you who have played with this, do you like it at all? Do you like it or nah? Sigils D's? Okay. Alright, I can get behind that. You don't want to cut my artifact that can be played cheap. That's true, it is a cheap artifact too. So, if we do end up cutting... We either cut, we either keep Kazmina and Spark Double and the Jays, or we just cut them all as a package like that. And then that's 24. We get rid of basically like a lot of stuff that isn't artifacts in here already. We could also get rid of the Essence Scatter. We have Metallic Rebuke already and we have Psionic Blast to kill some stuff. And Edifice of Authority kind of doubles up as that. So if we just get rid of Essence, we increase the artifact count in this deck. And then the Ensoul and the Animating Fairy are a little bit better. Everything else looks good. You've only played Sigil and decks with SRAM, Pierce, Hill, Paladin, and uh, the Texas Irrelevant in those decks. Yeah, you're just trying to play, like, more artifacts. You like going down to 16 islands. You don't want to play 17? Because I'm just going to play all, like, that. And then that way, our where's our 6-drop? 
Our Spire Golem is going to be great. Oh, you mean going down to 16 lands? Um, I like MTGO too, Bim. I, I like MTGA. I think it's more visually appealing. I think the games are actually easier to follow in MTGO. You're such a sucker for good money, you artifact stack. So if we cut one land since we do curve like pretty low. What could we add? Just like one more. I kind of want to add one more artifact or something. I could add the Jin back or Kazmina, which is actually just a pretty decent card. It's not a artifact, but it's good. All right, we're going to try this. Yes, I, I think so too, therapist. MTGO, like, yes, we make fun of it and it is like, spreadsheet simulator but also it just is very clean like that is one thing it has going for it it is pretty clean oh actually you know what i like that better scatter over kazmina yes 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 yes. i'm in for that all right just pretend that in the screenshot we have Hold on. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. there you go let's do this mtg appeals to the zoomers that is supposed to be the goal, I think. What the hell? I just got a response on Yelp about a business that I contacted. <laughs> about a year ago, I contacted a company about throwing out trash and they like just messaged me back. I don't understand. As a UI developer, if I MTG to be a dumpster fire. Mistborn, maybe they should hire you. Make make this thing a little bit more uh, user-friendly. Not gonna lie, the first time I played Magic Online, I downloaded it and I was playing a card called Falconrath Aristocrat. If you're not familiar with a card, it's a banger. You do? Luis, I'm so proud of you. You're the best. Look at us doing the hashtag adulting thing. Incredible. Gonna get our sprinklers winterized. That is some real grown-up stuff. The other day, I washed my washing machine. I felt like such a grown-up. <laughs> Who washes the washing machine, chat? All right, here it is. So, Falcon or the Aristocrat. Look at this card. This card was a banger. So, it has Flying Haste, and then it has an activated ability. You sack a creature. If it's a human, it gets a plus one, plus one counter. And, and the Aristocrat gets indestructible. So, it's my first foray out in Magic Online, yeah? And I'm so excited. And so, I'm playing with Falcon and the Aristocrat. And the first thing I do... I'm going to mulligan this hand. It's horrible. Oh, my God. Why? Yeah, the first thing I did was sack the Falcon of the Aristocrat to itself. <laughs> and then the rage quit motor because it was so bad. Should we go to five? Hold on, who's actually on the play here? Rolled a four, they rolled a four. I rolled a one, they rolled a three. So... <sighs> if I get one land, this hand's okay? Oh my god, squirrel. <laughs> I like it, Squirrel. I think I'm just gonna maul. This hand looks bad. Alright, this hand looks good. So... I want to keep the Spire Golem and the Islands, of course. The toolbox is kind of just okay. I want something cheap for the Djinn. Because that one's with four. And then we can play the Edifice. We can play the Edifice on three. So we could send the toolbox back plus an Island... And then once we get to three for Edifice, we need one more island and then we can play the Djinn. I got, I got the joke too. I like the Luis. This is good. All right. So I'm going to send back an island and the toolbox. And I'm going to keep all these because I think all these are good. Edifice buys us a bunch of time. This thing will be pretty cheap to cast eventually. And the, the Djinn is just a, a banger, I guess. Oh, snap. The Hope of Girapur. I was not ready for that. What does this even do? It's like you can't cast spells or something. Sack Hope of Girapur until your next turn target player who has dealt common damage by Hope of Girapur this turn can't cast non-creature spells. Oh shit, they have an Archbound Ravager. They are kind of going ham. Mm. 
Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Psionic Blast doesn't super help us. I guess we can target the Ravager and they can move Ravager counters onto something else. And then we can edifice the next thing. Sure. They didn't play anything, huh? Uh... Do we just try to psionic blast the Ravager? Or we could just play the Spire Golem, but if they counter it, we're sad. I kinda wanna play the Spire Golem. Hey, it worked. How do I go back to my Twitch dashboard? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I would imagine this deck, this this cube is not super high on the counters. Because this is like so big on... It's like a big creature's cube, so it would be kind of weird to put a bunch of counter spells on it. It is Luis, but not those kind of counters. Oh, Reed, you were asking what is... Oh, snap, they also have the thing. Wow, that's bad. I need a land, I need a land, I need a land, I need a land, land, land. Fuck. Yeah, it's bad. That was bad. Sluber, somebody today was trying to splain me on Twitter. <laughs> that's what people are referencing. Yeah, it, it does not look good for the home team. Time to play Edifice of Authority, and then I guess in the future we're going to start tapping the, the, the Jin. Dokumo, I think you're going to regret tweet or typing that out. Just saying. Yeah, respect my authority. I mean, honestly, if we get to untap and use the edifice to tap the gin, we're fine. I just think there's a pretty good chance that they're going to just get a bunch more stuff out on the board. And then we won't be able to keep things under control with just the edifice. This is three to sack deals too. So they can double hit my spire golem. Sucks to suck, Uber. It's rough when that happens, Dokomori. I feel the pain. I feel your pain. Wow, we finally did it. Um, honestly? Hold on. Cast for alternative cost. I'm just gonna tap the edifice. I think getting this thing out is better. This thing is, is huge. You know, if we get to Triskelion, we might be okay. Hey, happy dude. It's been a long time, dude. How are you? Oh, shit. They are just jamming, aren't they? All right, we have to make some blocks where we don't lose our gin. So if we block that there and this here, they can sack this, this, and this to kill my Spire Golem, and then we take seven. Or we block them Yeah, no, this is no no good. Maybe we put the gin here and we put the, this on the ravager. Try to try to like entice them to block to kill my spire golem instead of killing us. I I think we're basically losing here, child. We don't really have we stumbled for too long. Stream really relieved that I have no idea what people are talking about. Dokomoi, this morning I tweeted out, so I don't know if you saw, but Twitch um, had another one of those waves of emails that they sent out to creators being like, DMCA takedown, we will come for your lunch money, you know? Uh, it was one of those messages. People were really frustrated because they, the email itself didn't like say anything. It, it, it said, like, you copyright infringed at some point in the entirety of the time you've been streaming, and we won't tell you where. Yeah, I'm about to scoop here. 
You were watching Bloody when she realized she has one. Well, everyone has one, Dokomo. Like, literally everybody got that email. I think if you've just been streaming on Twitch for a while, you got that. And they didn't say, like, what your thing was. They didn't say if you, like, did it yet today or if you did it three years ago or if you did it five years ago. They didn't say anything. Um, so I was tweeting out. I quote tweeted, I think, Surge saying basically like yo this is a mess because twitch is also not helping out with it at all yeah we're daubers dauberinos yeah also they deleted all the clips which is really weird because the way dmca take takedowns work is you get to contest them um but instead of letting you contest them they just deleted it all which is weird and unprecedented that's not usually how that stuff works so i tweeted out what what was it i was like the stock email everyone received has zero information on which content was deleted it makes it impossible to know when you infringed uh i didn't even know your content could be taken down without the opportunity to counterclaim i can't believe it basically like twitch just has been beefing it um and they really haven't been helping creators navigate it at all even though it's not twitch making the claims it's just other places are making those claims and somebody in the comments is like Trying to be as objective as possible coming from a YouTube content creator with 66k subs. This was a long time coming regarding Twitch enforcement over copyrighted content. 100% you're not getting the whole story with these content creators claiming it's no fault of their own. And it's like, I, I'm never a claim. I never said that like creators are lying about it not being their fault. Creators are frustrated because they're getting no help from Twitch. So that thing you're hearing about, the 66k comments thing, that's what, that's what... <laughs> That's what Squirrel's referring to. Um, don't think I want to counter target spell. Don't think I want a contagion engine. I don't really have much of a sideboard to be honest. I guess the gin could be not terrible. <laughs> oh my god, Squirrel. But yeah, I, I too got the, the, the notification that said like, yo, you made some infringement, you know. I would like to play first. Wow, our opponent's toxic. I'm going to keep this. It's not the best and it's not the worst. It's just okay. <laughs> they must be the greatest punk chap. Mr. Horrible is the only way to explain it. Anyway, that's where that's where that 66k thing was coming from. Also, I just found it so ridiculous because like, feels like sometimes people just want to respond what they they want like it just they never actually read your comment they just want to respond for the sake of responding do i feel like i get explained a lot on twitter or is it a kind of rare occurrence uh, i don't think it happens too often slew bars also when people try to explain me on twitter i usually dunk back so i, I think that also you know helps stop <laughs> stop it a little bit uh so this is crack and sack and get one I don't think I want to return it. I'm just going to play my toolbox. You respond to Gabby and Louise on my Billy Twitter account exposure to a wider audience. I don't have a good... Oh, Flare Husk? Do I care about a Flare Husk? Not really. I guess I can attack in region if they try to modular onto the hope of Girapur. Because it's target artifact creature. This is an artifact creature, yeah? Just gonna attack. No fear. Let's go Chora Jora's toolbox. Let's do this baby. Um yeah, let's play Flare Husk and I guess I'll choose whether I want to draw a card or bounce a creature. We'll see, we'll see. I still have the commit to memory. My mic is so high quality. Thank you, Maid. It's not actually like that great of a mic. I think I just my mic settings are pretty good. If you are interested in it, it's the Audio Technica 2020. It's not even the pro version. I'm just a plebe out here. Pleb streamer. If a platform doesn't act on DMCA claims, then they're screwed. There's some home safe haven. Yeah, I, I kind of understand why Twitch did it, Molly. It's just really weird that they didn't give people a chance to counter claim. Like, they just... I don't know. They're losing it. That's what's happening. They've lost it. Um, should I just play Riddlesmith so that I can 
play Edge Champion and loot an island away next turn. Yeah, you have to be like a top, top, top creator though, Slew. Like, I think most people hate YouTube. I, I can tell you this from experience because I used to be big into the YouTubes like around 2009. Most of the people that I know who were like, even like pretty large YouTubers just all hate it. That's funny, Miss Bourne. Um, that is bad for me. Mm, yeah, I'll just play Riddlesmith. I think we, I think leaving up Regen plus being able to like loot away with Edge Champion when I play Edge Champion is not bad. Yeah, exactly. When a rampage, like you really need to be like a top, top, top creator. I think a lot of people that I, a lot of the people that I personally know from back in the early YouTube days, they're all burnt out and they just were off it. They all got a different job and moved on. Oh, they too have a riddle smith. Universal automaton changeling. This card is every creature type. Sure. Yeah, yeah, Gatekeeper's right about that. Also, there was this thing called, uh, what was it called? It was like, Addathon or something. I want to say like seven years ago, maybe six years ago, they really, Shelldock Isles in this cube? Holy shit. They changed the way ads worked on the platform, and a lot of people who were making a living, um, making youtube content stopped being able to and uh yeah that was that was bad times yeah was it apocalypse maybe that's what it was called oh my god well I'm going to keep that just so I can keep uh, regenerate on my artifacts because it actually matters quite a bit for my protection on my edge champion. But I... We're just going to lose to flyers. Yeah, it was really bad. A bunch of people... Basically, it would be like if Twitch one day woke up and they were like, yeah, remember how like we were splitting ad revenue with our the people who stream on this platform. Now we're just going to take 70% of it. Like it, it was kind of like that. So everybody who was doing it was like, oh shit, maybe, maybe it's time to get a different job. Oh, we are getting super dunked on. Just a smash, Tilt City. Yo, Shadow Wolf. Welcome, welcome. All right, Chad, I'm making an executive decision. We cannot win this game. Yeah, I, I think a lot of, I think that's part of the reason why, I mean, I hate to say it, but I saw this happen with YouTube way back when, and it kind of feels like we're seeing some of that same stuff starting to happen on Twitch, which was a shame because part of the reason that I liked Twitch a lot was because it felt like, unlike YouTube, Twitch very much cared about its creators and trying to give people the tools they need to succeed and giving them better like monetization platform. And I'm not saying that like Twitch is a new YouTube, but it does feel like feels like a lot of the th it just kind of feels like history repeating itself to me just cuz it's following a lot of the, sim the same patterns that were happening back then when people started to get disenchanted. Like if you follow uh Twitter, like Twitch Twitter, like if you follow a bunch of streamers, there's so many people today who are like really unhappy about what's happening. Oh my god, Molly. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I think so, Memphis. I think it's like everybody can go into it with good intentions and then eventually you fall into the same traps. I don't know. It feels a little bit like that to me. <laughs> Shadow Wolf. <laughs> hmm. I mean, Slubars, that's not that different than um, than Twitch. 
Like, the real money comes from companies who want to pay you to do something. Like, if a company's like, hey, we want to pay you to do an unboxing or, like, do, you know, a review of this product we're making because they have marketing and they have, like, a marketing budget that they can use for something like that. Whereas, you know, ad revenue on YouTube is, like, pretty difficult to monetize. Even on Twitch, like, your subscriptions are, at least for me, a pretty small part of the, like, total money that I make on Twitch because I get so much more of it via sponsorships. Um, yeah, exactly. Patreon is another really good example. Like, Patreon is a, is usually a better way to monetize, too. Although, Patreon for a while started trying to trying to rake their creators. I, they, they've lowered the fees again. Yeah, but there's a pretty big difference between advertise like between pre-roll ad scootager and sponsorships. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Darzog agreed. I be big agree with that one. Big agree. No, never buy with slew bars. We also how that ended up. <laughs> never buy with slew bars ever again. <laughs> Here it is. A lights thing? Because I'm pretty sure we saw that. Oh, hold on. Does Slubars want to... <laughs> Holy f... <laughs> I'm never... Never. Never. I'm swearing off it now. Never again. <laughs> Slubars, how could you? I trusted you. I trusted you. Do I have the mic boom limb handy? I can find it for you right now, squirrel. I'm a good multitasker while the stream is up. Oh my god, a playable hand! I never thought I'd see the day. I can't believe it. After all these years playing Magic, finally. Playable hand. Let me go to orders. Microphone. Search orders. Here it is. All right. I'm going to copy this in chat for Squirrel, but if anybody else is interested, this is a really good a boom arm that I use. Um, not the cheapest, but honestly, I've had it for since I started streaming, basically. Never had to change it. It's incredible. Couldn't ask for more. In the first clip, we did try to lure Gabby into the lights to kill her. Did I, did I s successfully escape? I mean, I still died, obviously. Come on, Glenn, let's screen, baby! One time! Uh, amazing! Oh no, we send the djinn to the bottom. Yeah, it's kind of expensive, but I, I... Like, it is incredible. It is a really, really good microphone arm. I had a shitty mic arm before it, and I'm really happy I have the good mic arm now. What's better? Um... That's really funny though, Kamoi. I haven't heard that. Yeah, my last mic arm was awful, DC. So I have a couple options. I could go Sword of Truth and Justice. Then next turn, I can equip Sword plus hold up Essence Scatter. Yeah, that actually sounds okay. Let me attack first with my, my burb. What about vibing with Suspars if you're both dead? Depends on whether or not Slubars killed me. If Suspars killed me, I will not vibe. If he did not kill me, then I'll definitely vibe. Oh, what the? Are you serious? How dare they? You know, they could have slow rolled me a little bit. Oh my god, they brought all the hate. You hate to see it. Mm. <laughs> A braid wouldn't have hit Goblin Bob. <laughs> All right, this is my plan. I'm just not really playing any more artifacts until... Uh, maybe I didn't even want to attack there, actually. <laughs> That's funny, Dokomo. I like it. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty good game. All right, I'm going to pass with Metallic Rebuke and Essence Scatter. Because I think I might... Um... 
I'm gonna let this hit, but I might end up bouncing the goblin crater maker or just drawing a card. I didn't do anything. I'm gonna just draw a card. Uh, equip creature gets X plus X charge for each charge counter on sigil. So I could go Riddle Smith plus Sigil for three. And then if they want to, or I can just pass with Metallic Rebuke, actually. Yeah, let's just do that. Why were you doing the double kill dance? <laughs> I'm not into that. I would prefer to keep... Also, this is nice because it jukes the, yeah, the knight. They can't actually cast the knight afterward. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They decided to go for it. Oh, my God. Beacon would be so proud of our opponent. They're going for it. Dang. No blocks. All right, so we're in good shape now because now we can play the Edifice of Authority and we can just stop them from ever attacking again. Oh, hello. One, two, three. Attack with you. I'll just... Ah, we lost the Riddlesmith, so now I think we can just play the island. That way I can Essence Scatter and Edifice in the same turn. BK, BK, I think this is BK. It's 558. He's about done with work. It's probably him. <laughs> Nobody else would be so excited to attack with Lava Claw Reaches. Only BK. He got hit by a slightly more expensive Creeping Tarpid. <laughs> I wonder what's going on with their hand. They haven't done anything. <laughs> oh my god, Luis. <laughs> what's wrong with you? Savage, dude. Oh, I totally, like, played that in the wrong order. Yeah, I done beefed it. It's all good. They're just on mono removals. The line is a threat white play more. It just takes them so much mana to actually ever get in there. Yeah, I got punished for playing them out of order. They would have killed the Apocrisite. Can't do anything about that. I'll just take the damage probably and next turn I can Sigil to make sure that we kill this thing. Because I can, I can make it for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then put it on the Glint Nest Crane, kill the Chandra and it goes down to 4 so I hit it for 5. Oh, you know what? I should have been using... Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, we haven't had the mana. But I just realized that we should have been using the Edifice of Authority always. Oh, hello. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. Okay. Because I just want to kill Chandra. And I need to make sure we have one charge counter on Edifice um, so that the Lava Claw Reaches doesn't get us. So we can cast Sigil for five. And then remove a counter, put it here. It's still a five, five. Attack Chandra. Yeah, look at that. We killed Chandra. They have no cards in hand. They have one Lava Claw Reaches and I have an Edifice of Authority. We're in great shape. Oh. Wow, that's super annoying because I could have countered it. I guess it escapes. Mm. 
Among Us Town? No, I just wanted to play Magic today, Drill Rain. But I'm sure I'll be playing Among Us later this week. I am sure of it. Yeah, I don't even have to kill it. Uh, it it's not even- we don't even have to, like, go for a kill here. We can just attack with a... I can make this unable to attack and then maybe we'll kill this. It kind of it kind of depends on what they do next turn. But I have 6 mana which is enough to essence scatter psionic blast and edifice. Oh, kill them with a blast. I guess it's any target, huh? 4 damage to any target and 2 damage to you. Interesante. Sure. I don't really care about that. Sure also. Mm. Make it not be able to do the thing. Do we just kill the Phoenix? It escapes for four and three cards, right? They actually can escape it twice, which is not. That's kind of cool, Nucleo. I haven't really seen that. Yeah, you know what? I am just going to kill this thing. Because we can Essence Scatter it next turn, too. Buys us a bit of time. Like, I actually... C countering the escape does seem meaningful. Puts them in a spot where they might have to chump with um, their Mortician Beetle. We would like to draw something. We've drawn islands like stupid. Okay, so here comes the phoenix for sure. How's this cube going? I like it feeling. This cube is good. Uh, let's counter that. It's very, like, different than most the most cubes you've seen. It's a fun one, though. Blood Ghast. Oh, that thing has haste, too. Oh, no, it doesn't yet. Only when I have 10 or less life. So now they are going to beginning of combat. We can do that to it. Come on. Oh, oh, you love to see it. Look at that, baby. You love right, to Gabby, see it. Love, Gabby, love, Gabby, love. Um, amazing. Got him, Mateo. Thank you for the eighteen months. Yeah, we draw. We drew exactly what we needed. One point of damage. You love to see it. That's what they get for not using OG's Endicard Bloodcast. You know, the cube may have been the one that determined the artwork, but they're the ones that get to live with the consequences. It's actually like the... Um, have you guys seen the artwork for Walking Ballista in this cube? Because it's awful. It looks like a transformer. Like, it is actually a transformer. It looks just, just terrible. Am I got to choose some of the artwork? I really hope that I'm going to choose the Transformer one. It's so bad. <laughs> it's not good. Mateo, how are you doing, by the way? Thank you so much for the 18. you the best. You kind of like the Transformer. Heretical. I mean, if you actually like him, it's fine. I just think they look so bad. <laughs> Let me just send it back in. I don't think we have that much stuff we can... They did... Actually, maybe Endless One is uh, too late. I actually think I wanted a... No, hold on. It is colorless permanent, so I guess it does deal damage to Endless One. New Ballista art is up there with Stone Coil. Wait, what's the Stone Coil new art? I don't think I've seen that one. But I agree. They're, they're horrendous. Oh my god, we have the Skeezers. So... Oh, this hand. Do we keep this hand? We have a lot of good draws. 
Any two or three and we can put the skeezers. But otherwise skeezers just looks awful. Like it doesn't do anything. This card is two mana do nothing right now. Yeah, I kind of want to keep it too. We'll see. Let's see how punished we get. Come on, come on, baby. Oh, horrible. In spooky season, do they call me Gabby Spooks? Nah, you know, I haven't... I don't think I have any of those, like, cute Halloween nicknames. You have a friend named Cree, and every year we have a Cree Appreciation Day called Christmas. <laughs> That's cute, feline. Oh my god, what's happening here? Oh no, we're getting Legion War Bust. I really don't want to die to Legion War Boss, so I think we just kill it right now. Eesh. No, thank you. We could just go and Soul Artifact and hold up Essence Scatter for next turn. What do we think? Then then the following turn, maybe we can go like Sword of Truth and Justice Equip. Grabby Sparts and Stabby Sparts, those are good. Those are real good. Alright, look, we're not in a good spot, but like this is the best we got. Christmas is a really cute idea, Feline. I really like it. Bastion of Remembrance enters the bat. Oh, that's really bad for me. Now they're going to start just throwing their stuff here. Wasn't even something that I could counter. Carry and feeder, huh? I think that seems worth countering. Would I play make cube cards? Yeah, actually, Mephis, my current cube has some uncards. It has some a few silver bordered cards, not a ton. But they're really fun. I think they are really fun to play with. Uh, when it deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one plus one counter on the creature you control, then proliferate. So... Bastion is bad for us. Yes, I have Booster Tutor in my cube. I think Booster Tutor is one of the best silver border cards. I have another one called... I think it's like... It's a green, it's a blue five drop creature that's like, I don't remember the name, but if you play it, you get to basically like bound a spell to it. And then when you cast it, you cast that spell for free. So you, you get to play something of colors that you don't actually have. It's a really cool cube card. I don't remember what it's called. It's like architect of something. Hmm. Oh my god! I forgot that that thing gives pro blue! Oh god, we beefed it! I forgot! Ugh. I guess the play was play edge champion and not do anything else? Wow, disaster. Alright, I guess we still can't attack. Next turn we can play as champion and it will have metalcraft. So bad though. I actually think killing this thing. Or maybe for nah, just killing this thing is fine. And then our thing is gonna Yeah, sure. Hanger BZ, sure. So it comes back with two counters on it, is that right? Let's go one, two. Oh, hold on. 
Yeah, we... Oh, so we don't get to... Oh, awkward. Awkward, if I do this, I don't actually get to equip with a sword. But I guess the edge champion is going to be mega morphed, which is something. I, I won't get to activate the toolbox either. That was some Wagyu beef. It was really bad. I honestly forgot about it. Oh well, dubs. Hey, pff, thank you for the 27 months. I appreciate that. Yeah, I think that's GG. I mean, even if we didn't lose the scissors, I think we were going to be dead. But that was a pretty bad misplay. Of course. Mm. Then they have to throw a thing to kill my edge champion, which at least eats some of their mana. We're just the bastion is just gonna kill us though, is the problem. Cause like if we block this, this just spawns more thopters and then that just kills us and Can't throw? What do you mean? They, they can definitely throw. Yeah, they just killed me. All right. Uh, I wish, Unknown. What a cool lobby. I would have loved that. I'm definitely going to be watching that. That's a really, really cool thing to... That's a really cool thing that's happening. Yeah, we lose the metal craft, sadly. Am I drone drafting Zendikar? No. I've liked Zendikar draft. I might draft it some more this week. So I think against this deck, we just want some early threats. Just early stuff that could be... I could see the Soul Tether Golem being okay. <laughs> That's gas unknown. You create a sweet red white warrior standard deck, funny. Nah, let's just go back in. Oh no. Chat, this is this is it. Do we keep this? It seems really bad, and we don't have a creature, but we do have the edifice, which is good. LSV would keep. Well, I'm not LSV. I'm gonna send it back, actually. Yeah, this looks better. We can send back... Actually, I kind of want to send the skeezers. Yeah, I don't even know, Ryan. What are what are the rules? I think I'm gonna send the Trisk back. We're so far from casting Trisk. Yeah, for reals, Memphis. Yeah, Rapunzel, thank you. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. We're just gonna go ham. We're gonna do it. We're just gonna go in Soul Artifact on two and just try to kill them in two turns or something. <laughs> Last I checked. I, w I was not Memphis. Last I checked, though. Could happen, though. You never know. Gotta watch out. You played some Lava Claw Reaches. Are we gonna do it? I kind of want to do it. Should we just do it? I think we should just do it. Don't kill it, don't kill it, oh my god. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> I'll just... I don't think we need to put the counter on the Flare Husk TBH. I think we can just make a bully and give it Menace and a counter on it. And then next turn we can start treasure mapping. Nice, nice, nice. They do have the three mana kill your thing plus play a lifelinker. Oh, Okay. That's not even that big a deal. Block there. Yeah, we Gucci. You do drain me a little bit. So I can play both Apocrisite plus Treasure Map. And if I attack here, I get to kill either of them. 
Yeah, that doesn't sound too bad. Sun with both. All right. Oh, wow. Top decking. Yes, that would be so sick, Memphis. This Blood Artist is actually kind of a problem. So we take four here, plus attack. Yes, the, the Karen Feeder and Blood Artists are really annoying. Can't block at least. So Bully can get through and they need Phoenix specifically to block. I don't think we're supposed to block with, with the Apocrisite. Okay, so do we want a treasure map here? I guess if we get a specifically Psionic Blast, that would be pretty good. Metallic Rebuke wouldn't be bad. Like, what do I lock myself out of if I scry here? I can still play Spire Golem. If I get the, the Djinn, I won't be able to cast it. If I get Commit to Memory, I won't be able to cast it. I think it sounds okay to scry here, actually. I don't think we want that, so I'm going to bottom that, and let's see what we draw. <sighs> F. F, F, F. At one time we needed Blast, yo. So... We definitely attack with Flare Husk and we definitely attack with Bully. The question is, do we attack with Hypocrisite? Because in order for them to block... Yo, Killing Joke! Thank you for the Prime sub. Welcome back. Or welcome for the first time, actually. I think we leave back the Hypocrisite. It doesn't seem like it's going to do a whole lot. Maybe it's okay. We can use our life as a resource. Because this thing can't block anyway. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to attack with it. I can't believe we drew an island. This is stupid. All right, let's do this. Ooh. That's good for me. That's really good for me. Oh, maybe it's less good for me. Sure. Okay. I'll take it. Okay, so now we just have to hope we don't die. <laughs> that's 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 it. Let's just not die. Don't die this turn. They're going to hit me for a lot. But losing the Blood Artist means that they can no longer gain life. Oh, God. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that is really bad chat. We are going to be dead here. Yeah, that card is very good against our deck. Um, I do think we should scry... Oh, hello, 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 hello. If I ether spell bomb to bounce the crater maker, they're forced to make an, oh, no, yeah, that just totally does work. Okay, yeah, top of library. Because they, it costs one to do the thing and they tapped out. 
So we can just bounce the crater maker and then just... Yeah, why did they tap out? That was a really bad misplay for them. Yeah, we have lethal. We just bounce you. I don't know. They Maybe they thought that the activation was free. I think maybe they thought that. They must have thought that the activation was free. Like, there's just no other way they would make that play, right? That goblin crater maker was really good against our deck. Apparently, math is also for attackers. <laughs> for reals. All right, chat. I need to go use the restroom real quick. But when I come back, we're going to finish this league. Yeah. Give me one sec. Let me put my burb screen on and let me play an ad while I'm gone. I will be right back. <laughs> True, Mephis. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, my God, Mephis. We're torment a hillfire so bad. Hold on, I lost my... Here it is. Mm. Yo, yo. Mole. Time to finish this league, baby. What do you mean, torment a hellfire is great? In that draft format, it was just such an overrated card. It never did what you wanted it to. Yeah, I said Mole. Oh, I guess an EDH. I could see Torment being really good in EDH. Hold on, let me get rid of my burb screen. Mole. <laughs> Mole's like, why did I say hi? Ooh, this hand's good. I am so ready for DVDs too. Oh, chat, if you haven't seen this, we're doing a spooky thon. Take a look at that. Yeah, this hand's amazing. We do not need upkeep stops anymore. The spooky thon is going to be exciting. <laughs> How is this entertaining? I don't know. You should ask Squirrel or I because uh, we seem to be the only ones who find it extremely entertaining. It's one of the best finishers in your Bolas tribal deck. Oh, I guess I guess it is like literally Bolas casting the Hellfire or something like that. Okay. Ooh, the such champion's gonna be not too shabby. Hey! So if I play Ethereum Sculptor... I guess it might actually be better to play, like, Prophetic Prism to draw, and then next turn I can go Ethereum Sculptor. No! It's better to just play Edge Champion next turn. So maybe I do just play Ethereum Sculptor here. And then next turn I play Prophetic Prism into Edge Champion. Yeah! Hi, Nikolai. Welcome. How goes it, Nikolai? Did you have a good weekend? Boop. Oh, Squirrel, that was a good summary. You summed it up perfectly. It's true. It means no Molly Chainsaw. Though I am excited to play some DVD on stream. It's been a long time since we've done that. Heartless act on my thingy. Mm, unfortunate. I don't really want to run on my edge champion until we... Oh, hello. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little scared of running out my edge champion until we get something... <laughs> All right, Kermita. I think I'm going to lead on bird and see if we get Aether Spellbomb. No, we got the bully. Let me order. I was hoping to... Attack. I was hoping to get Aether Spellbomb and then we'd have two and then three would make Edge Champion. Instead, next turn we can go Prophetic Prism and to try to draw land into Jorah's Toolbox or something. Okay, well, we're done attacking in the skies, it seems like. Oh. Never mind. Hmm. We really need to try to hit land. Unfortunate. Um. <laughs> you really did it, Nicola. You got there. Butcher Ghoul. Oh, they're on the, like, Mono and Dying Persist stuffs. Yeah, I'll take it. 
Nice. Finally. Do we want to play Edge Champion or hold up Essence Getter next turn? Because I could play Jura's Toolbox plus uh, Activation. Or just Edge Champion and then they can't attack anymore. But then we waste the mana. Kind of like Jura's Toolbox plus Essence Scatter. That seems not bad. Which monocolor deck is best? Like, for like intro decks, Nikolai, or what sort of thing? My guess is green is just pretty good color to teach people magic with. Mm. I'm just gonna let it hit. <laughs> mono blue versus mono blue. Yeah, in this battle. <laughs> Yeah, mono blue versus mono black. Yeah, I am not interested in that. Thank God we held up as scatter. Amazing. Amazing. Ooh. We could just install artifact the Jura's toolbox and then go from there. Scissors. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be a five five and then we just start bashing, right? That seems so sick. Oh, I could just install the prism. You're right. I forgot about the prism. Yeah, you know, you're absolutely right. And then we could have, like, left the germ back or something. No, yeah, you're, you're totally right. All right, well, they're both going in. Sure. <laughs> yes, but what if we needed the fixing in our mono blue deck? <laughs> All right, we are actually doing just fine here. I would like to play this so we can play an edge champion. Guess we can just attack with a toolbox. They don't really have blocks. I mean, they can do that. That ain't no thing. Sure. It's champion plus sigil delivers next turn. Yes, I am looking forward to playing the sigil. We do have to always leave up a regeneration. Okay. Well, neither of these are humans. These are scissors. What what is it? What does it actually become? It keeps the type, so it becomes an insect. It continues to be an insect. You go all in on sigil. Um. Yes, minus one, minus one counters versus regenerate is a little awkward. This has protection from all colors. So if we just go all in on the sigil. Um, and then put it on the edge champion. We'll do six minus one is five plus two is seven. So we kill them in two turns. Uh, it does open us up to removal if they have a way to kill my toolbox. They can't break up the metal craft though. Because black's not going to have a way to deal with a flare, husk, or a prophetic prism. Yeah, I might actually just um, go here, tap out for six, put it on edge champion. Like, this is so good, and they, they can't really attack back. Oh, Mr. Horrible, it's because we're giving we're giving the artifact a soul, you see. Oh, snap. Oh, they're just doing nonsense. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, they're putting counters on my toolbox. So the Butcher Ghoul and the Persist Creature are both on their, like, second life. We did it! It's like Pinocchio. <laughs> it really is. 
We did it, chat. Do we change anything? They just had a bunch of, like, undying and persist creatures. Don't think Contagion Engine looked good. Sight into the bomb. Reed, I appreciate your um, dedication. <laughs> This looks awful. Let us mulligan. This looks good. Let us... What do we get rid of? We definitely want to go Mere Sire into turn 3, probably Spiral. Actually, the bully seems like it's bad. Because we're... We need these three to cast this, and then we'll want this plus... Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so they've got this Cutthroat and the Collector. And this does make a mirror, right? Makes an artifact creature. The bomb. They will never see it coming. It's true. Oh, snap. The Winding Constrictor is super scary. Um... Whenever a creature dies, put a plus one plus one counter on equipped creature of equipped creatures of vampire. Oof. All right, I think the play is play Spire Golem, with next turn being play Edifice of Authority and tap something down. But this is looking, this is looking sketchy for us. Oh shoot, that's really bad. <gasps> Beer Mystic, that's awesome. You love to see it. Can't block here. Hey, Tamarachi! Welcome, welcome. What are we doing? We have no good... Pff, no good options. I guess that if it is. How are you doing, Tamarachi? It's really good to see you. We're, we're getting crushed by this just BG Garbo beatdown plan. Yeah, you love to see it, Mr. Horrible. Hmm. Whenever a creature dies, put a plus one plus one counter on equipped creature. If an equipped creature is a vampire, put two plus one plus one counters on equipped creature. <laughs> it is, Janus. All right, so I think we have to tap this guy. They're going to attack with everyone because of the winding construction. Oh, they didn't attack with a Zulaport Cutthroat. Interesting. I should not block here. Yeah, me too. I, I want to watch that that stream too, Bim. It sounds, it sounds really interesting. Hmm. So if I... Play that. I, I won't get to use the edifice. And I really want to make sure that I keep tapping the pelt collector. But I can go like glintness crane. See what I get into prophetic prism. We got an apocrysite. Any order. I think let's get that in play. Dang, Bim. I'm not surprised to hear that. That's intense. Okay, so now we have blockers for that too, which is good. We just have to slow them down a little bit. The Silverport Cutthroat is a big problem. Uh, okay. Tapping you. <laughs> Would be nice, Pure Mystic. I'm sure she's partnered already. Mm, they didn't attack. Did not attack. What is that? Equipped creature gets plus two plus two and has infect. Whenever a grafted exoskeleton becomes unattached from a permanent, sacrifice that permanent. 
Hmm. So we could go. Is it really, Ryan? I'm, I, I am. It's got to be just unplayable, like flat out unplayable, right? It's mostly just emote spam. <laughs> I kind of want to see this. Hold on. I'm going to take a look at it after this game is done. Where? What do I do? How do I win this game? It seems impossible. Like, I can start with Sword of Truth and Justice, play my land, equip the Apocrisite, probably, and then attack. To when I have to Mully Believe! I think no, no amount of Mully Believing is going to save me from this one, sadly. <laughs> That's some quitter talk. Well, I, I am trying my Gooby best out here. Ooh, I actually am happy for that. That actually works out decently okay for me. It does drain me, but the Apocrisite does come back. This thing is huge, but I can't tap it. And then next turn we can maybe just put it on the Mirror Sire or something. Or like the Glintness Crane. Okay. Yeah, it's actually kind of funny, Sarcastic Rat. If you get enough... If the stream becomes enough unplayable, like, it just is fine. Because you can't... There's no bad messages. <laughs> there's just nothing. <laughs> that would be sweet, Memphis. That would be cool beans. Alright, so beginning of combat, we just tap this guy. No way. Follower notifications on. Somebody's need to turn that off. Lurus is back. Oh, fuck me. Wow, that is awful. It can't be harder, Tomodachi. So it's got to be easier. That's just a given. Let's start with this. Mm. We're not going to win if we don't start doing stuff like this. We might as well start attacking. We blocked with the hope of Girapur. Wait to see if VOC has a gamer chair. Nah, those gamer chairs suck. <laughs> Alright, they blocked my sort of truth and justice. Maybe, maybe we can get there if... I guess I can just keep replaying Hope of Gear Up War, which is pretty bad for us if we can't get rid of Lurus. Oh, has the stream not even started? Are you serious? I thought it was already live. <laughs> 100k, huh? Maybe we need to... Maybe the play is we start making the hope of Girapur unable to block. And then when we attack, we get in there with a sigil. Like, next turn we're going to get in with a sigil too. And then we proliferate or something. I don't know. Nissa, Eesh. That would be so sweet. I can't imagine Bernie doing that though. I feel like AOC is hip with the times, Bernie not so much. Yeah, exactly, Sarcastic Rat, that's what I'm imagining. <laughs> hey, Count. AOC plays Fall Guys? Yeah, I'm telling you, she's hip with the times. Uh, there's the hope of the gear poors. Mm. Gotta do this one. Is my thing coming back? No, never coming back. All right, so what's our plan here? We could just try to kill them with a glint... Nest crane and the sigil. 
All right, chat. I think this play loses, but I think it's the best we've got. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Done. And then we equip here. Yeah, so it's an 810. And then we have to make until next turn can't attack or block and its activated abilities can't be activated. Like that. And then we just send. And not even send it Nissa. We just need to send it them. So uh put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. Yeah, let's just do here. And then proliferate you. You and you. That's it. Okay, now we need to not die. And next turn we can send for 14. Is that enough? That's not enough. Hundred and twenty-five K already? Holy moly. And you said it's not can somebody link me to it? I wanna see the stream. Thank you. It's just AOC. Good branding. Oh yeah, it's just on starting soon. It's at a hundred and thirty thousand. Jesus. Alright, so we're gonna jump here. Okay, quick peek. Yep, the chat's unplayable. It just says starting soon, but yes, the chat is just horrendous. Uh, if we block there, how much do we take? No. Do we have to block there? We take one, two, three, four, five, and this is another creature you control die, so. One, two, three, four, five, four, five. Yeah, this is the best block we've got. Right, so they go up to 17. They put it on the hope of Girapur. Yeah, lifelink is... Oh, it's live! Oh my god, I can't believe it. It's so cool. Oh! Hold your horses. Can we cause a draw? I think we can just... I guess we can just cause a draw, right? Wait, no, this thing has haste. Can I just kill? I go Edifice of Authority. The Hope of Girapur can't do anything. Put Flare Husk on here. Right? And then we get for 11... Uh, f yeah, 15, 16, 17. We can actually just kill. Yeah, we don't have to make a draw. We can just... <laughs> we can just kill them. Boom, baby. We almost... We almost caused a draw. That was so sweet. So cool. All right, let me wrap up this video. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I really like this cube. This cube is really fun. We drafted a mono blue nonsense deck and it was a good time. Uh, I think by the time this is live on YouTube, this cube is no longer going to be online, which is unfortunate. But there's always new cubes on the Cube Spotlight series, so definitely check them out, baby. Um, man. Hold on one second, Memphis. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, you can subscribe to the channel and watch some more drafts. Also, if you are shopping on channelfireball.com, you can use the code Gabby to also directly support the stream. Thanks for watching, YouTube. See ya. 
If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.